We're recognizing that there are no borders. I mean, technically, diseases and people travel all the time, and that has made us truly a global village. And through that, we're able to really start discussing what global health is and moving away from only the discussion around infectious disease to a discussion about the determinants of health and really understanding what does health mean for the populations that we work with and how do we create a bit more of a balance within the inequities we see in the world. Medical students need to be aware of what's happening globally. I mean we are a global village and I think that was Hillary Clinton in a previous life who coined that phrase. Our patients in fact are in India in the morning and here in the afternoon. So if you're not aware of the global distribution of disease, then you can't be an effective physician. Global health research is uh, an opportunity for us here at the Collaborating Centre to work with people in other countries to understand uh, what their needs are of their people and then to find ways to uh, best address health systems to align them with those needs. So global health research really is trying to find evidence that will help to inform um, health systems as well as the healthcare workforce to improve things for people in other countries. Ultimately, you can't, you can't really move forward in any of your work unless you have documented some evidence. Everything that we want to be doing, particularly in health, is based on evidence. So we need to be able to both from a qualitative perspective, being hearing the voices and understanding the needs of the communities where we're working, uh, as well as quantitatively being able to document uh, what's happening within communities. Without that work, without those voices, without that data, how can we promote best practices and how can we also be making change within communities? Um. Global health research is not about researchers sitting behind their computers and, and trying to solve difficult questions, but instead global health research is working with um, people in the country, so people who are leading up healthcare organizations, people who are working in government and oftentimes in very senior government posts, so that global health research um, through partnerships like that can provide them with what they need the evidence that they need on an ongoing basis to make better decisions that address the health of their people and arrive at better health systems, for instance, that address those. So global health research is all about partnerships. It's all about building capacity and bringing government people, people who live in the communities, um, advocates, um, uh, professional associations together with uh, people in our province and in our country to build capacity overall. When you use the term, the social determinants of health, what I think you're implying is that there's more that makes us healthy and gives us the ability to survive when we get sick than just uh, medical care or whatever illness it is that you have. So poverty is an enormous uh, problem, not only in the developing country, but also in our own country. So if you look at our indigenous peoples in Canada, their health outcomes are not what they should be. And that's where, if you look at home, where the social determinants really make a big difference. Global health research has really done what traditionally all medicine has done, which is look at the roots of illness in people's bodies, so a real biomedical approach to health. But what we know now is that the social determinants of health play a huge role in our experience of health, and those are things well beyond the body, such as what kind of housing we have, what kind of schools we attend, 
uh, whether we're boys or girls, what the democratic institutions of the country we live in are. Um, so there are many, many aspects that affect a population's health that go well beyond the biology of our own individual bodies or lifestyles. Uh, I guess global health research comes in uh, various different forms. Uh, one of the advantages of my field of research uh, infectious diseases is that it truly is a, a global phenomenon and uh, we're part of a, a global village or a global planet we're moving around on that planet and we're exposing ourselves to disease wherever we go so this is truly a, an issue that affects all of us around the globe and um, collaboration, working together, co cooperation on global research uh, can only have the benefit of helping us all. So, you know, 30, 40 years ago, you might have had an individual studying a particular condition by his or herself. Well, now you're going to have teams of, you know, 10, 20, 30 people from all these different disciplines coming together to look at a particular problem. And they collaborate on the methodology and the approach, even figuring out the particular questions that need to be asked. So, you know, I, I guess by definition, when you have that many bright people in a room who figured out how to get along, that's a big important piece, um, collaborating on an issue, you're going to get a better result. We see that especially with students. We have, uh, we offer a course, a seminar course, and we see the students coming together learning about where each profession works, where they overlap, and then where there might be gaps. And that's been really quite exciting to see students learning about each other. So nursing stu students learning about medicine or occupational therapy. And they may not have that opportunity within a classroom, but they get it through our course, and then they get it when they're doing clinical work overseas as well. Uh, I think infectious diseases are may, uh, maybe one of the best examples of, of how important it is for medicine as a, as a, a discipline, as a science, uh, to appreciate uh, the, the global dynamics of, of uh, how disease affects uh, uh, individuals and populations throughout the world. And if we're going to be able to uh, uh, to um, be masters of infectious disease control. Uh, we're going to have to do that on a global basis. And certainly educating our future generation of doctors and scientists uh, in the um, global aspects of disease and of course other aspects of, of medicine and health care um, is going to be a, a, a key to, to being successful at that. The important role of the International Health Office at Dalhousie University is to really lead this approach to global health research which embraces not just the biomedical but also the social determinants of health. And in doing that, they first have to promote this approach that also involves the social factors that influence our health. And also they need to help to bring together different groups of researchers uh, across campus and in the community who can bring their individual expertise uh, together to have a much more cohesive and comprehensive approach to studying health, um, global health issues. So our province being involved in learning from a state in Brazil, in Fortaleza, where they are using primary health care teams and family health teams very effectively and have been since 1978. So that the learnings, the dividends are about um, accessing and resources and, and, learn, and, and having those in place but also in the ongoing types of partnerships that benefit the, the uh, health policy impl uh, development, implementation and evaluation in our province. <laughs>